Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. This is going to be a video on CSS and how to build and create CSS uh, files with CSS code. So let's begin. First of all, let's talk about the last uh, where we left off last with our HTML pages. I've made a few modifications since that last video. So let's go ahead and first go start with the home page. I already have it open. And as you can see right here, in between the titles, forget all the rest of this code, all right? But in between the titles, I went ahead and put in the page name. For this one, I put in home. And then for this one, I put in about us. And then, of course, for this one, I went ahead and put in contact. We're only dealing with three pages home, about us, and contact. Okay? Also, if we scroll down to the links, okay, all of the links, you may, you may see them differently. Um, when we first started this, the links were like this. I had um, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the link name. Okay? You only need to include the HTTP when you're going to a link outside of your web page, like Google, like Yahoo, anything such as that. When you're inside your own website, okay, you don't need the HTTP. So if you find when you're creating your links that they're not working, if they're links that are going to be just within your website, go ahead and take out the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and just put in the link name of your web of your um, your web page, and then from there that should work. That's the only other modification that I made to the HTML um, links. Okay, as far as that's concerned. And then I went ahead and saved my changes. Now I did this also amongst all three pages. Okay. So if you looked in the last video and you seen up here, I had HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and then this name. And then you try and use that to go to the different links. It wouldn't work. All right. Because really, this, these links don't exist. They only exist within my file, within my folder. Okay? I hope I explained that uh, correctly for you. So I did that with all three. So, other than that, let's go ahead and begin with CSS. So, with CSS, as I've said earlier in a previous video, CSS makes your website look uh, more prettier with uh, the same colors that we we did in the HTML document however with the main difference that you can control the look of all of all of your websites with one file and that's going to be your CSS file okay so let's start with the syntax of what uh, a CSS co coding file looks like or what the code in a CSS file looks like. So it's very simple, very simple command. First, you're going to start with the selector, okay? And with the selector, it's going to look something like that. Then you're going to hit space, and then you're going to have two squiggly brackets, right? And then you're going to separate them. And then in between squiggly brackets, the squiggly brackets, I'm sorry, I misspelled selector. Okay, in between the squiggly brackets, you are going to have your declaration. This is the policy, the, uh, the policy that you want to name for uh, controlling your uh, CSS and for controlling your um, website. We'll go over it. we'll go over that in just a minute, and everything will come uh, will be more clear to you. 
but let's say in this you wanna um, you wanna you you wanna uh, control what the what position you excuse me what position your text is in. All right, so you'll go text. Oops, once I learn how to type text center or oops, nope, it'll be text align colon and then you can either send you can either center it or you can do it to the right or you can do it to the left and then semicolon okay that's the whole command right there now you're gonna ask me where do you get the selector from that's very simple the selector is going to be the name of the div ID that you created in your website okay so for instance let's go back to our home page okay let's go to let's say our first let's say we go to content you have the div ID content right now to control the content and everything within that content what you're going to do is go back over to your CSS and for your selector you're going to choose pound content okay now the reason why you want to choose pound content is because you named this content right if you wanted this there's two types of uh, div IDs and I forgot to mention this earlier there's either pound okay or there's class okay now in this case we want to make it pound you can make it class over here but I went ahead and made it pound okay and then text align equals left that means everything within here within this text is going to be aligned to the left hand side which where it is right here okay if we wanted to align it to the center then we come back here and we go text align center then you would save your CSS and then you would you would um, come over here and this will be in the center okay and it's just that simple I know it looks kind of weird I know it looks kind of um, unimaginable but trust me you will get the hang of this alright and then for your next declaration maybe you want to choose the color of your text right so then you press enter and for readability you you want to um, do spaces in between your declaration and do and do uh, one line at a time that's just for readability you could make them both on the same line but then that would get kind of confusing for me it would okay so I just usually put one on each line and then say like you want to control the color of the text within content within your content right which is your selector then you would go ahead and type in color colon and then you would just choose a color whatever color you want white red what have you and then the semicolon okay and then you would come back over here and you would see this when you look at your web page after you refresh and and uh, save everything you would see your web this content on this website you would see it in the middle and it would be the color that you uh, put in here red white whatever you put in here okay that's all it is to it and this this information right here you would save as a CS a dot CSS file and that's it so let's go ahead and go over um, a actual CSS file and you'll see what I'm talking about here it's very simple it's not that hard trust me okay this is your CSS file right here alright now 
the other thing that I want to mention is how do you get this code right here to relate to your website very simple go back each website that you want to be related to your CSS you're going to need to put that here in your head file let me show you right here so for all of your websites that you want to control with your CSS um, file you're going to need to type in uh, less than sign link space real equals and then double quote double quote style sheet okay and the type is a text forward slash CSS space and then the link to your CSS uh, file you can name your CSS file whatever you want to you just want to make sure of two things number one that your HTML file and your CSS file are in the same folder you want to make sure that happens all the time it just makes things more simple for when you want to reference your CSS file from your HTML file I hope that is uh, I hope that makes sense to you guys okay but once you go ahead and you put this in then this website will reference whatever you put for your CSS, CSS file it'll reference all of that from here you just need to make sure that you go ahead and for a majority of your your um, content you go ahead and give it a div ID for this one we gave it a div ID of content okay now earlier we had given our image uh, file a div ID of picture or pitch however we can use this image this image right here as a div ID okay and then for the footer we have the div ID footer we can reference that we can reference this we can reference content we can reference all that through our CSS dot or dot CSS uh, file okay we'll go over that real quick we'll we'll go over that now oh and for your links you can reference this your links through the um, through the HTML command a for for anchor okay I'll go ahead and show you that now so for this first one here if you want to do a background which most people usually do and I'm sorry I didn't go over that one but you use the selector body okay which matches up well, let's go over to our HTML file that matches up with body here okay let's go back over to our CSS file and inside your um, your declaration you decide what you want to do you can do a background color of black you can do a font color family of Arial you want to choose three in this case that way depending on which browser your users come up with um, they might not be able to see Arial but they might be able to see serif and if they can't see serif then they should be able to see sans dash serif okay so it gives them three options when they when they uh, come to the website so this is the font family okay and then you have the color you can choose whatever color you want it can be light green it can be red it can be whatever color you want and then the margin that that uh, talks about whether or not you want some you know you want something above it you want something under it okay if you don't want to do just a, a plain color background you can do an actual image okay it's basically the same command you got the selector and then you have the um, you have the declaration within okay now we're going a little bit past our time so let's stop right here you go ahead and study that as I said 
all of this information here will be available for you to uh, download and manipulate any way you want to but stand by for me and we'll we'll continue in the next video thank you very much I appreciate you looking at this video and you have a good day please like and subscribe